Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the China Math Olympiad 2021 which was just held last week. In this video, we'll be looking at problem 5 which is an unconventional geometry problem. If you have been following my channel, I've actually uploaded a video before on the straight edge and compass problem and that will greatly help in understanding uh, this problem. But if you have not checked out the video, that's okay too. Uh, we can go through this problem uh, as it is. So let's take a look at what this problem is. Basically, let there be two points on a piece of paper which are of distance 1 apart. Prove that one may use a straight edge and compass, which I'll elaborate in a minute, to construct a line and two points on it, which are of distance square root 2 to 1 apart. The total number of constructed lines and circles in the process must not exceed 10. So a straight edge basically is like an infinitely long ruler, but it has no markings on it, so you can't directly measure distance. And uh, a compass in this case, we assume that it does not collapse on lifting from the paper. So what you can do is, firstly, you can uh, put the, the point and the pencil of the compass uh, to a uh, predetermined pair of points so that you, you basically fix the radius to be that uh, distance between those two points. And then you can move the center to a predetermined point and then draw the circle. So the center will be a predetermined point uh, or rather pre-constructed point and then the radius will be a distance between two pre-constructed points. Okay, so we want to only use these two operations to draw uh, somehow construct a line and two points on it which are of distance square root 2, 0, 2, 1 apart. And somewhat there's a restriction on the number of lines and circles. Okay, the key observation for this problem is that 2, 2, 1 can be written as 43 times 47. Uh, but basically this gives us 45 square minus 2 square. So 45 square minus 2 square is the important part. It suggests that uh, square root 2021, you may want to do this by constructing a right angle triangle somehow where the hypotenuse is 45 and the base is 2. Then the height would be square root uh, 2021. Okay, now the first thing we'll do is basically we'll draw a line through the given two points. Uh, over here, I've indicated uh, the distance of the point from the leftmost point for easy reference. Okay, and at the top right, I have indicated the current uh, line and circle count that we have used so far. So, so far we have used uh, one count by drawing this line using my straight edge. Okay, and now by putting the compass center here and then drawing a circle of radius 1, uh, I will hit intersect the line and construct this point that is of distance 2. Right, so this circle here. I won't draw in the circle because it will start to clutter the diagram. Okay. And similarly, I put the center of my compass here and use radius 2 and draw a circle. I'll get a point of distance 4. And again, I put center at 4, use radius 4. I draw the circle, I get point at distance 8. Now, this time, I don't want to keep uh, multiplying by 2. And the reason is because I want to get some point that is close to 45-ish uh, so that I can start using this 45 square somehow. So if I keep going, I'll get like 16, 32, 64. It will jump over the 40s. So instead, I'm going to do something slightly different. I'm going to put the compass at 8, but I'll stick to a radius of 4. I draw my circle. I'll get uh, a point of uh, distance 12. Now uh, I double that again, center at 12, distance uh, radius 12 draw my circle with my compass, I get 24. And now, maybe I can get very close to 45, but actually the closest I'll do here is getting to 46. So, center at 24, I'll use radius 22, which can be obtained by 2 to 24. So I draw the circle with radius 22. And, and I'll get a point of distance 46 away from the starting point. Okay, and now we actually have a 45 somewhere, right? Actually, from the point 1 to 46 here, I have a length of 45. So I want to draw 
a circle with radius 45, but I want to do it with a cleverly chosen center. And the, this cleverly chosen center shall be the point 4. And why do I want to do this? Why do I want to choose point 4? Well, because if I can somehow draw a perpendicular line through the point 2, then I will get radius 45 and uh, this is base 2 and this is perpendicular line. So the height will indeed be given by square root 2021. So that's why I choose 4 here because I can get the base 2 very easily. Now I just need to figure out how to draw the vertical line through 2. And you have been keeping track of the line and circle count. We are down to two more operations. Now, recall that uh, earlier on we had actually drawn this circle. This is not a new circle. We already drew it earlier on where we centered at 4 and drew a radius 4 circle. And this gives us a very nice uh, trick. Basically, if I also draw a circle centered at 0 and radius 4, I'll get these two congruent circles here and the intersection points is the radical axis basically which is a vertical line passing through 2 and perpendicular to the horizontal line. So by drawing, by using the knife operation on this circle and the very last operation to draw the edge through these two uh, intersection points, I'll get the required perpendicular line through 2. And so there you have it. This uh, point from 2 to this intersection with the circle is square root 2, 0, 2, 1 apart. So a very interesting and unconventional geometry problem. It really requires a lot of creative thinking to reach this number. It, it was really, really difficult. And that's all uh, we'll be covering in this video. And uh, wishing everyone who watched this a happy new year. Uh, do subscribe for more interesting videos in the coming year 2022. Stay tuned and see you soon.